The Torrent List Top 10 is proudly brought to you by Pop Culture, Australia's leading online retailer for all your pop culture merchandise. With thousands of products available at your fingertips, including action figures, collectibles, pop vinyl, bobbleheads, statues, props, cards, graphic novels and books, DVD and Blu-ray, and much, much more, popculture.com.au is your one-stop shop for everything you need. popculture.com.au, proud supporters of the Torrent This Network. This is the sound dinosaurs make. Are you ready yet? Yes, you, 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 have, you didn't <laughs> say. <laughs> Welcome to the Torrent List Top 10, the show where Michael and I choose a topic, decide our own top five, and then combine them to make the Torrent List Top 10 list. Our topic today, best comedians of all time. Now, before we get into things, we must first predict what each other's top five will be. So let's start with Michael. I feel like I'm in a rush now. All right. Hi, guys. I'm Michael Lovados, again, for the third time. And I'm here to tell you about Brendan Dando's list the top five comedians for the third time. For the third time, he's 522 in no particular order. Ah, Jerry Seinfeld, he loves the show, loves the man. Robin Williams, he likes Robin Williams and Robin Williams dead, so that'll probably move him up a couple of spaces. That's just running out! Richard Pryor! Richard Pryor is looked at like some sort of saint in the comedy world. All comedians look up to Richard Pryor and I think Brendan will be able to appreciate that and put him on his list for that reason. Number two, Louis C.K. Louis C.K. is the comedy man right now. You have to recognize that he is what's happening right now. Number one, Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy is just... Dando and I have watched his specials together. They always make us laugh. It's probably the only comedy special I've seen with Dando, so I have to assume that that is going to be Dando's number one. Let's see what Dando thinks I'm going to have. Okay, Michael's top five comedians of all time. Before I get into them, I just want to let you guys know if you can hear beeping and stuff in the background, I do apologize. It's because I live on a construction site. So there we got that out of the way. I think Michael's two through five in no particular order are going to be Eddie Murphy. Uh, Eddie Murphy, it brings up brings back good memories because I remember watching Raw, uh, Eddie Murphy Raw with Michael when we were a lot younger. And um, I can just remember tears of laughter pouring down our faces when we were watching, particularly the scene where um, Mama making homemade McDonald's hamburgers. So that's a good memory. So Eddie Murphy. I also think he's going to have Stephen Colbert. Back when we were at uni, Michael used to love watching Jon Stewart. And I feel like this guy is like the new, the new Jon Stewart. He's sort of taken over his sort of popularity. So I think Michael's going to have Colbert and he's two through five. I also think he's going to have Dane Cook. Back in high school, Michael did a complete rip-off of a Dan Cook routine for a talent show and came third. No original material at all. A complete rip-off of Dan Cook. He used to sit down and listen to Dan Cook on his iPod. He, see, Michael, back in the day when we were listening to you know the top 10 music, Michael was listening to podcasts. So he sort of got me into that. So uh, Dan Cook would definitely be in Michael's 2 through 5 He used to listen to him all the time back in high school in class. He'll also have Richard Pryor. He's sort of one of those guys that all comedians look up to, and I feel Michael's going to have him on the, his list for that reason. But I think Michael's number one, to me, this was an easy choice. Jim Norton. Uh, you may not know of him, but he's huge in the States, or he's huge everywhere now. I was introduced to Jim Norton by Michael, obviously, back when we were listening to the Opie and Anthony show, which is no longer happening, unfortunately. But Opie and Anthony, a, a crude American shock jock radio show over in America, obviously. Uh, Jim Norton used to be a regular guest on there, and Michael, like... He, he, Michael would always be quoting Jim Norton. Jim Norton would say something, and it'd be Michael's quote of the week. He'd always be repeating what Jim Norton was saying. If John, Jim Norton made a joke, Michael would be saying, that, that was Michael's joke. And half the time, I have no idea what Michael's talking about, and I'd go, Jim Norton? He'd go, yeah, Jim Norton. So there is no way Jim Norton, if he's not number one, he has to be on Michael's list. There's no way Jim Norton will not be on Michael's top five. You've heard it here first. So let's see if I've got them right. Hopefully I can win this week. Welcome to the Torrent List Top 10 second episode of 2015, is it? Or is it just the second one to be on the website? I feel like we, it's the third episode. It's the third of the year. Yeah. Second on Torrent List TV. But yeah. thanks for all for tuning in this week. We appreciate your what do we call them, their viewership. Yeah, we appreciate we appreciate your clicks. We just appreciate you. Uh, we have fans, one in particular, Tatey Cake, who draws us. Did you see the latest photo she posted on the page? No. You have to, you have to do you with a big arm. You need to tag me in this shit, man. No, you need, you need to go on the page People and look. need to tag you are, No, because if she posted to the page, can't you, see it. You should get a notification. You're a moderator. You're an admin. No. 
Check that shit then. No, 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 I'll look. It's just, <laughs> ah, big on. It's just like, it's just, that's good. <laughs> a new profile yeah. picture. Yeah. <laughs> um, thanks to our official sponsors, Pop Culture. We love you very dearly. And also thanks to everyone who commented on this week's Facebook post. Every Monday we put it up, what the following episodes are topics going to be. This week it is top 10 comedians, comedians of all time. Now, are you going to be upset when I put down the comedian? What do you mean? He's on my list, the comedian. Is that going to make you upset? From Watchmen. <laughs> <You've been there. laughs> I was gonna say no, then I thought, you know what, I fucking will be. <laughs> His name is the comedian. He's awesome. But he's a character, he's not real. So, Crusty the Clown can't be on my list either? No. Ooh, this is a bad list for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let's get into the top, this top 10 comedians of all time. My number five mm-hmm. is the only female on my list. Do you have any females? Ooh, I didn't have a female for you, no. Damn. I will be honest. Most female comedians I do not care it's for. It's not Sarah Silverman, is it? No, no I do not care for Sarah Silverman. <laughs> I get it. Um, I'm a comedian. I like, okay, so this is the issue I have. Would I, would I know of this person? Yes, you should. Okay. She dated WWE superstar. Oh, it's that blonde chick. Amy Schumer. Mm. Amy Schumer is hilarious. Like, I find one of the problems that I have, it's not a problem with them, but the problems that I have with a lot of female comedy is they can't separate being funny from the women liberation movement and they they have to tie in all the yeah. time. And I'm like, I'm, I don't want to sit down and watch a 60 minute special that's just bashing me for having a dick. So therefore I don't like a lot of female comedians. I hate it when the female comedians always sort of make, especially when they have kids, it's always yeah. like, oh, my kid's lazy, or my husband's yeah. a sloth. Yeah, it's, it's like, just like, yeah. I don't want that and, But yeah, if a male comedian goes out and says, oh, my wife's, you know, lazy, it's like, oh, you're, you're a sexist. You know? yeah. Anyway. So that, that's my problem with a lot of female comedians. Amy Schumer is like the polar, polar opposite of that. Like she'll she'll do comedy about like getting facials and how she doesn't understand it. She's never had one, but that's just because no one's ever done it. It's like she doesn't think she'd like it and she doesn't know exactly what. what define facials. <laughs> it's just she's she, what's the term? Is it blue? Is that what it's called? Blue comedy when it's like very off colour? I thought blue comedy was sort of like um, rude and crude. Yeah, so yeah. Off, yeah, okay. So and and she's a very funny female blue comedian and that's why she is my number five. My number five, I'm pretty sure you have this person on my list. It's a pretty obvious one and the reason he is on my list, I have no females on my okay, list. Okay, yeah. I'm sexist. Yeah. The reason he's on my list is because he created one of my favorite TV shows of all time. Mm-hmm. Who do you think it is? Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld. You know that one that I was like, oh I forgot I gotta put it in before we start the list? Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld. I took out Bill Cosby to put in Jerry Seinfeld. He was a last minute addition. Ah, on both figures. Yes. Good. I, t- I took out Jim Carrey. One out of one, motherfucker! I took out someone else and put Jerry Seinfeld in. Yep. Um, yeah, because I figured, uh, the guy that was, I won't say it because you might have it on my list yeah. later on, but the guy who has number five I liked because of the movies he's made. Yeah. I thought, you know what, I if I, was, if I was on television, I would yep. want to watch Seinfeld more. And I just feel that Seinfeld was not a pioneer of comedy, but I feel he was a, his show was a pioneer What's for television. To deal with airplane food. Yeah, I feel his his television show was a pioneer for TV sitcoms. Not yep. so I like him for his sitcom side of things. Not so much his stand up. Yeah, his stand up is funny at times. But yep. you know when they have the stand up routines at the start of the episodes? Yeah, yeah. Maybe two out of five times I'll laugh. Yeah. I think it's just a bit. I don't know. I don't really get it so much. But yeah. the show Seinfeld. I love the show Seinfeld, as you know. Yeah. So and I'm all about you know as you said pioneers. Pioneers. So and I feel like he showed did, did, was a trendsetter in um, TV sitcom. So Joe Seinfeld is my number five. Number four, take it away, Michael. My number four, I actually haven't seen any of his specials, but I was introduced to him during in the celebrity roasts. Mm-hmm. Um, he's now dead, and I think the roasts really suffer from it. Oh. Greg Giraldo. I don't know him by name. He is. Hilarious. Okay, so I've also heard him on the Opie and Anthony show back in the day, which is where I was exposed to a lot of American comedians that I wouldn't have otherwise been exposed of. But, okay, so you know how the roasts work? Yeah, yeah. And you know how 90% of them aren't funny? Take, and they're taking the piss, yeah. Yeah, and they have 90% of like when people get up there, they're just terrible people and they know bomb. they're meant to be shit, yeah. Gerardo hits it out of the park every single time. Can you get a photo of him up just so I can sure. sort of envision who I have a feeling I know who you're talking about. Was he a bit chubby? Um, well, I'm pretty sure he was on the heroin, so I think he might <laughs> fluctuated a little bit. Why do you like him so much? Like, what do you feel he does that nails it out of the park? Um, okay, so, 
especially with the with the roasts, people get up there and they're they're being funny mean. That, that's what they're trying to do. Yeah. But they're either most of the time they're either just being mean or just being like really soft. Or like he was he was brutal. He he was just like laser pinpoint precision. He would tear you apart when you were on that chair. But it was hilarious the entire time. Too. Everything he said was true. Everything he said was true and hilarious. And even the person sitting in the chair thought it was funny. Oh, I've never seen that guy before. Seen that guy? No. Well, I'm introducing you yes. to the world of comedy. What kind of humor was he? Oh, the same. The same as everyone on my list. Okay. Blue as my steak. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're very you're, you're like kind of comedy, aren't you? Like, okay, this is it. A lot of people say swearing is a crutch. It's not a crutch. It's just fucking hilarious. I depends. No, it I doesn't feel, depend. I feel a lot of shit comedians make themselves seem better when they swear. I feel a lot of jokes that uh, aren't that great just sound funny because it's got the word fuck in front of it. I disagree. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're just. Words in our language and and we use them and I don't think because we're on stage we shouldn't be able to use them I mean if that's how you talk in real life then Why alter yourself? It, I think it depends on the block. Eddie Murphy just gets away with whatever he wants. Yes yeah. and, and it's like some people the people that say that the swearing is a crutch would then say that oh Eddie Murphy was an amazing like stand -up Exactly. Routine. It's like yeah. Yeah, but he swears all the time. It's like yeah, but it's Eddie Murphy. It's yeah. like, well, what's the difference? Yeah. So but yeah, I to me, it just depends, but I've never heard this guy, but apparently he's hilarious. You, you should listen. Yeah. Go watch one of the roasts that he's on. Is he, is he, was he like the default guy that would always get the roasts? He, yeah, he was the guy until he was dead and, and they got, couldn't like, get him. I'm pretty sure it was an overdose. Okay, yeah. cool. So, number four. You, Greg Giraldo. You haven't done your... Greg Giraldo. Greg, Greg, Greg Giraldo. Yes, yeah, so I'll just... You like, haven't done your... Oh, no, I was just... Okay. You're number four. Okay. My number four is... To the majority of the public, known for his movies, I would say. Robin Williams? No. He would say that he's a comedy actor, not really, but, he, but he's not. He started a stand-up comedian, and he actually made a movie recently where we thought... Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. Oh, okay. Yeah, because, I didn't have that on my Because list. his comedy movies are always... Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, um, Big Daddy, I love as well. He's mm -hmm. just got so many... What's the one where... I don't really like as much, but he's a millionaire. Um, Mr. Deeds. Mr. Deeds, that's okay, but I feel now he's just waving the white flag. Like, he doesn't give a shit. Some of his twin sister. Oh, not good. What was that called? Jack and Jill. Jack and wasn't? Jill, yeah. Like, his movies aren't good anymore, but you like <laughs> grown ups, don't you? I do like grown ups, yeah. But I, I, I feel like he hates not only the world, but himself. He just gives off that vibe like he just doesn't like his life anymore, don't you reckon? I, don't I, know. I feel his character in Funny, Funny People is him. Yeah. <laughs> that is him. Yeah, maybe that's just going to show that it was a really well done movie. Yeah, like I feel. <laughs> like, like he said, you really believe that was his way of coming out and saying he's got cancer. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the movies he did in the past, and like, have you seen his Saturday Night Live stuff? No. It's so funny, dude. I don't you like have to Saturday Night Live. You have, you don't I don't like, like Saturday Night Live. <laughs> I don't think it's funny. I feel Adam Sandler is one of those guys who, for me, yeah, he can just say a normal conversation, and it's yeah. not even a punchline, but it's just the way he says it. And it's just like, and you laugh, and then afterwards you think, why did I laugh at that? Yeah. But for me, I just can't help but just get caught up and just laugh at his stuff. Yeah. We just talked about <laughs> swearing being a crutch. Is not making a stupid fucking voice a crutch? Oh, that's uh, yeah. Okay, good. I'm just making that, sure. That, that's his gimmick. I'm just making sure that we're being. He talks like this. Yeah. And he pulls that face. I'm just making sure we're being fair. That's all. Like in all these movies, he's yeah. always involved. There's always at least a few scenes where he's screaming, going. Yeah, he yeah. He does that face. He's got yeah. stroke face. Yeah, yeah. When he's <laughs> yeah. But um, Adam Sandler is my number four. My number four, Greg Giraldo. Yours is a lot more successful. Successful than mine and alive. Yeah. My number three is Edward Mephisto. Uh, yeah? yeah, Eddie Murphy. My oh, Eddie Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Murphy. I've got Eddie Murphy on your list. Okay, so we're both at one point then. Not at your number one either. Good, because yeah. he's my number three. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so like, what's the to say about Eddie Murphy. I mean, his movies... If you're watching this and you don't know who Eddie Murphy is, turn the fucking thing off. Oh, you actually know this one on my list. That's good. Congratulations. Eddie Murphy, um, he's, some of his movies are good, most of his movies are bad, but that's fine, because his stand-up, especially Raw and Delirious, Delirious better. I'm putting it out there. I'm an army of one on this issue, though. A lot of people say Raw is better than Delirious. Um, I think Raw is more known than Delirious. I think Delirious is better. Personally. 
So I mean, they're just they're just two great specials. I mean, it's very rare for me to re-watch a comedy special because I know all the jokes. But I've seen like Roar and Delirious like half a dozen times each. I mean, they just they're always funny, and that's why he's he's my number three. I mean, does Delirious though have a scene as good as? Mama making McDonald's hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> does that is the does Delirious have the ice cream on it? The ice cream? Yeah. I don't think it's on Raw. What's the Your ice cream? Dad's like? under welfare. You can't afford. Yeah, welfare burger. You got no ice cream. No, not that, burger. That, that, that's where welfare burger must come from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that must be Delirious. Yeah. Oh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> You know, people say, oh, Eddie Murphy, they say, oh, he's an actor. But really, like you said, he hasn't really done that many good movies. No, he really hasn't. Well, Beverly Hills Cop was a big success, and that has milked it for all Coming to America, also amazing. Yeah. Since the 90s, what really good comedy movies has he done? Bowfinger. That was no good. (laughs) Dr. Doolittle wasn't that great. Pluto Nash. Never even watched it. (laughs) You haven't seen Pluto Nash? (laughs) Yeah, don't. Like, oh, Maddie Professor was good. Yeah, okay. Because that was yeah. a good movie. Yeah. But that's about it. Norbert! Ooh, no. <laughs> but yeah, it's like you said, your stand up though is amazing. Stand up's great. If you haven't watched Eddie Murphy Delirious and Raw, do it just right do now. Just do it. Stop this. Actually, close this window. Minimise then, it. No, no, close it. Because then when they click on it, it's an extra view. Oh, it is. And they come yes. back to it. <laughs> Watch them and then come back. My number three is also known for being an actor. You said him before. Robin Williams? Robin Williams. Two points! Two points. He's not my number one. I thought you might have had him as my number one. Nope. So, Robin Williams, I know you're going to say, oh, it's because he's dead. That's not it at all. No, I'm not going to say that. He'd be on the list regardless. <laughs> yeah, okay. And let's just not talk about how he's dead and everything. Let's just right. leave that aside. He made a lot, a lot of good comedy movies. Plus, he also proved that he was a good, serious actor when he really wanted to be. Have you seen Dead Poets Society? Yes. Have you seen Good Will Hunting? Yes. Two really good movies. Have you seen those episodes of Law and Order, Special Victims Unit you did? Is he in that? Yeah. Oh, no. I as, a, watch... as a bad guy. He would play it really well. Yep. And what about that one hour photo? I never watched that Very photo. Very creepy. I, yeah. Yeah. I, I feel he was... What about Hook? I... That was a serious role. I feel <laughs> he was underrated as an actor. He yeah. was He was known for being this crazy comedy guy, but he can, he can really act. Mm. And he's... I watched a few of his stand-up routines. It's just more voices. It's all. just it's just voice, 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 voice. Yeah. And it gets a bit boring. But the movies he, he made, like where Eddie Murphy's stand-up was great, mm. this guy made, he brought so much joy to so many different people. He could do so many different things that he was able to, I feel, I feel, appeal to a broader range of people than what Eddie Murphy can. You could put a Robin Williams comedy movie on for a kid. You can't do that with Eddie Murphy. Back in the day, when he was in his prime. I could. What? I could. You reckon? Like, how old is the kid? If they're school age, they've heard everything before anyway. So you would you would let him watch Delirious and Rob? I suppose that's stand-up, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I'd also let them watch... And Robin Williams, was very, Robin Williams was very crude doing yeah, stand-up. Yeah, exactly. Apparently he was really, really crude dude in real life. Good. That makes me <laughs> happy. I've just heard nothing but good stories about Robin Williams as a person. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of people came out when he died because, you know, people do that. Mm. But before that, even, he was just seen as just a... He would just brighten up a room. I've heard a lot of bad stories about Eddie Murphy. And he's had that thing with the pro and stuff. And, with the transsexual? Yeah, world. and like he's... he's. I feel that... Look, pro- all I'm saying but is should, a transsexual must give a great head job. We should be judging by the comedy, not their personal yeah. lives. But I feel Robin Williams just brought a lot of joy to everyone's lives, including mine when I was a kid growing up. And even mm. now, so Robin Williams is one of the three. That's fair. Two! Two! So... A problem I have with a lot of comedians is they like to get political. And most of the time I'm sitting there going... I fucking nailed this one. Really? It's either one or two people. Okay. And most of the time they're sitting there and they're spouting their political opinion and I'm sitting there going, Who the fuck are you to tell me what I'm supposed to think? This guy gets away with it though. Bill Burr is my number two. Fuck no, I didn't have that. Yeah. Who? Did you have Bill Burr? You don't know who Bill oh, Burr is? That's, I do, yes. Okay. He's older. Okay, good. <laughs> Jesus. I didn't realize he was a comedian though. What do you know Bill Burr from? I, Are you fucking up again? I thought he was just... I know he does, but I thought he was just a news guy that was... I didn't realize he was a stand-up comedian. A news guy? Wait, You're what? thinking of the wrong person I again. I'm thinking of the wrong person, yeah. Who, who are you thinking of? I don't know. Keep going. <laughs> I'm thinking of an old dude that does... I thought it was Colbert. 
Oh, oh, no, 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 I've got Colbert on your list. That's who I thought you were going oh, to say. I hate John Stewart and Colbert. Oh, I thought you, you, used I, to lo- you used to watch John Stewart all the time. I did, I did. And then I realised that he was trying to brainwash me with his left-leaning bullshit. Okay. Yeah. Fuck John Stewart. Well, um, I, thought he, I thought this Bill guy was, did another show like that. No. Oh, okay. Jesus, man. What is... Anyway, continue. Have you, have you... I'm getting a picture. We're doing the picture thing again. Had you seen... Um, Breaking Bad? Yes. Okay, so you know who he is from that, at the very least. I know the dude, He's yeah, one yeah, of the yeah. enforcers one of, for, one of, for, for the Yeah, and yeah. him and the black dude. Yes. Yes, yep. Yeah. He's also a comedian. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, Bill Burr... Alright, the, the, Bill Burr, the first time I became aware of him was when I was watching clips of a uh, comedy show that just went off the rails. The crowd went ballistic and was just destroying every comedian that went up there. Every comedian would go up there, they would try, and the crowd would just tear them apart. Like and booing. Just, yeah, just terrible. And then Burr goes out there and destroys them for like 20 minutes. He just picks them apart one by one and turns the crowd around. It was the greatest thing, comedy thing I have ever seen. What would, would it be on YouTube? Yes. Bill, what would it be? Bill Burr? What it, uh, Bill Burr... How many people in the crowd are we talking? Was it a big thing? It was a big crowd. Yeah. <laughs> Bill Burr, Travelling Virus. Travelling Virus. I... Again, exit the video, go watch it, then come back to the video. Three views now, we're up to the mm-hmm. person. That's good. I'm gonna sneeze. Bless you. <laughs> Again. Ah, apologies. Um... <coughs> I remember when I was at the academy and I was bored out of my head, I would chuck the headphones in and listen to Bill Burr's CD and it was hilarious every single time. I mean, he's just, he's, he's got some very, very strong political opinions and ones that I disagree with, but when he delivers them, you laugh and you also have to go, you might have a point there. So it, it's so he's trying to brainwash you with his bullshit, and you're accepting it. No, I'm not, because I I go, yeah, you might have a point. However, counterpoint. Why can't you do it with John Stewart then? Because John Stewart's a fuck. Why? A liberal fuck. Fuck him. <laughs> Douchebag. But yeah, Bill Burr, better than John Stewart. <laughs> and Colbert. <laughs> and Colbert. <laughs> Colbert's not too bad. My, my number two? What, my number yes, two? I do. Eddie Murphy. So there's not really much more to say. Okay, good. I had him on um, on three points now. Really? Mm-hmm. Fuck, I'm, I'm fucked. <laughs> you have to get my number one. I'd have to get in a draw. It's not Jim. Hopefully. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's get to number one now. I just want to let you know that... How the fuck can you not have Jim Norton on your list? Okay, I like Jim Norton. I think Jim Norton is great. He's really funny on the radio, but I base this mainly on stand-up. And the last stand-up I watched of... Jimmy, I got a little bored. Yeah? Yeah. What did he, what was boring about it? Uh, at one point he started going through texts from his ex-girlfriend on his phone. That just seems like he's unprepared. I love Jim Norton. I think he's great, but I base all of this on stand-up. I don't know why I took that weird decision and went with that, but that's the decision right, I made. I fucking lose. You're getting to your number one then. <laughs> um, I had your number one down as Eddie oh, Murphy. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm, I'm not going to get yeah, yours yeah. either. Uh, my number one, I don't know how you didn't get this, Louis C.K. He should... Yeah, but why would I put that? I know, I know, now that I know... He should be everyone's number like, one. Now I know why, with the angle you've gone for, I yes. can see why he'd be up on your list. Yes. But you said I'm gone... Okay, I, I, I don't watch enough stand-up routines okay. to, yeah. to be able to say, all right, Michael like that guy. Yeah, okay. So the thing about Louis C.K. is... He's kind of different from all the other comedians on my list. When he gets up there, he just makes... I think a good a good stand-up comedian should be able to make any everyday situation funny. And he does. Like, he just... he. I don't think he's playing a part. He just is... When he gets up there, he's just talking about, like, his life. And just, like... There's this one part he's talking about 
where he's getting ready for vacation, right? So he's getting ready for vacation, he's loading up the car, he puts his kid in the kids in the car, and then when he's walking from the passenger side door around to the driver's seat, that's his vacation. Because soon, as soon as he gets into the car, his vacation is over. And he just delivers it in this way that he's just- A he's, wacky voice? No, no wacky <laughs> voice. He's just defeated and broken and he's like, that's my vacation. Do you think two seconds? It's hilarious. Do you think he'd be a depressed, depressing person, or do you think he just likes to milk the depressing? Yeah, I, it, it's probably an angle. It, I imagine it would just be an angle. Have you seen his TV show? No, I was going to say it's got his own show now. Yeah, I he's, watched it. Had, he's had it for a few years now. It's great. It's written by, starred in, directed, produced, edited, all by the. What, he does everything. What type of show is it? Um, when people say sitcoms. I mean, when you say the word sitcom, that is live in front of a studio fucking audience. No, it's not. It's a, sit I know, it's I know. a situational comedy. To me, but when someone says to me a sitcom, that's what I think of. Okay, but then what do you call a situational comedy? What, modern Family, do you call that a sitcom? It's a situational comedy. What would you call it? I would just call that a comedy. A comedy show. It's but comedy. it's based on situations. But every, everything's based on situations. Would you, do you call, do, why, why can't you call it a, a fucking a soap opera, a situation drama? Because that's not the name for it, you just call it a drama. That's just, no, that's, it's just, I don't know, I, I understand technically. Yeah. But traditionally for me, a sitcom, that's just me being traditional. Yes. Is live in front of a studio audience. They're, that's they're, not you being traditional though. <clears throat> that's just you being wrong. Just because original sitcoms were done in front of a studio audience doesn't mean that's part of the definition. I'm not saying, I said to me. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying it's not you being traditional, it's just you being wrong. I, I miss. When I say traditional sitcoms, I mean the ones, the original sitcoms. I'm, yeah. I, I feel there's, even Big Bang Theory is just past its use by date now. I don't find it funny at all. It's a sitcom, right? It is a sitcom, yes. Yeah. That's a live show. Sh- I feel there's no other, you think of the 90s, we, were, we had fucking heaps, man, to watch of like, actual sitcoms. Isn't the biggest difference between a comedy and a sitcom is... My definition of a sitcom. No, not your definition, yeah. just the real definition. Yeah. Is at the end of a sitcom, nothing has changed. They go to a different situation each episode. Each yes. Episode. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So the, the main dynamic of the show the, stays the same. They very rarely have an arc. Yes. Well, then I would imagine that Louis is definitely a situational comedy. Yeah. I won't say sitcom as to not inspire it's, it's, your anger. It's, yeah, it's, it's, sitcoms have evolved to, to this kind of form. And I just I don't find them as funny. I, th- I think it's maybe because if you go back and watch old sitcoms, if yeah. you take out the crowd laughter, they're probably not as funny. Yeah, probably not. So I, I, I give them credit to the people that make it these days because it's harder to make a show funny when you haven't got someone in there telling you this is yep. when you're supposed to be laughing. Yep. But it shows up Modern Family, I just don't get them, man. It's that quirky random humour that I just, there's just too many of those well, kind of shows. I was actually like, talking about this the other day. I don't get comedy anymore. I was talking about, have you seen the, the ad for um, that get two girls in, two broke, no, not two broke girls. Oh, like, big boobs? No, 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 not that one. Like the two, there are two girls in New York City or something. It's like the Amy Poehler, Tina Fey TV show that they're producing or something. And it's just these two girls that are despicable human beings and completely socially awkward. I'm like, why? Why is this funny? Yeah, I don't get. Why is people not knowing how to interact with people in a normal manner? Why is that entertaining? It's just that quirky, random, like goofball. It's just I don't know. There's no. But did you find Kramer funny? But this is what I say, the difference is Kramer was just slapstick in your face funny, right? Yeah. Where well, these guys are awkward. No, th- th- I feel there's a difference between this kind of awkward and Kramer awkward. Kramer was just like, whoa, you know, doing, doing, he was, he, he was a physical comedian. Yeah. Where these guys are just like saying stuff that you're like, whoa, I can't believe they would say that. And I don't find it realistic because fucking people don't talk like that. You, you said this before, you don't like comedy anymore. Uh, comedy, comedy movies? movies. Like, no, I don't like that. I, I feel comedy shows. I don't like many comedy shows anymore. There's none of them that are on my to download list. So. I just, even like community now, I got bored of it. Yeah. Too many people left the show. Yeah. yeah. It just wasn't the same show anymore. Yeah. And when Ali Baldwin left um, 30 Rock, it was like, eh. Yeah. yeah. Why yeah. are we doing comedians? I don't know. <laughs> you still have to do your number one. My though. number one. Haven't I done it yet? No. I, I have. Who was it? Louis C.K. Louis C.K. <laughs> my comedian, I don't think, I think you'll know of him, but you'll know my name. Andy Kaufman. I'm not, I won't know him by name. Are you out of your fucking mind? Okay, I don't know what you're doing. Yes, of course I do. They made a movie about yeah. him. He was heavily involved in wrestling. Yeah, that's, 
I, Everyone's I, like, oh, he's so funny. He must have faked his own death. He's dead. No, he's dead. He's dead. And he, he is, that's the biggest joke you've pointed at anyone, making you believe that he's not dead. That's, no, that's not a joke. That's just dying. Yeah. Yeah. No, but he made, he tried to make it out like, he planted seeds that people believe it. You know Did he mean? plant seeds? Did he? Or are we just giving him too much credit because we like him? Possibly. Yeah. Well, the reason I like him is because he pulled the greatest wrestling angle of all time. If we just go into the ring and beat up women. <laughs> that, that, that. Like, <laughs> legitimately just beat up women yeah. and got away with it. Yeah. Like, and then, no, when he was on Letterman with Jerry. Yeah, I know, I know. That's, and it, that's what it culminated to. Uh, uh, the reason I liked his, because he, again, pioneer, mm. he, he started the trend, in my opinion, of you don't know whether it's real or not. Yeah. And he would say, if you don't know Andy Kaufman, he's, the movie's called Man on the Moon, Jerry, uh, Jerry, uh, Jim Carrey plays mm-hmm. his character. I think Jim did a really good job of playing the character as well. But I feel that this guy, he didn't like to be called a comedian. He, he wanted to be an entertainer. Okay. So he's friends with Vincent Mann. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he was a, yeah, he, he didn't, he didn't find, he didn't think he was a comedian. He just did stunts that people yeah. would or wouldn't laugh at. Mm-hmm. And his greatest stunt of all time is going on Letterman and him and Jerry Lawler, who's a wrestler, set up this fake argument live on the show where he like, he would swear, he wanted to see if he can get away with swearing on television, so he did it and then Jerry Lawler slapped him across the face and even Letterman wasn't in on it and Letterman's just like, whoa, and then he's tipping water and fucking Andy Coffin's ruining the set and it's, it's fucking amazing, you have to watch it, it's on YouTube. But I just feel like Michael said, he, this guy created, he loved wrestling so much, he found a way to beat up women in a wrestling ring and yeah. get away with it. He got so much heat for it too. I know, he, he, the more you hated this guy, the more he loved it. Yeah. So that's why I just, I love him so much. He did not give a fuck if you liked him or not. He he wanted to annoy you and I just love that. And then he took a pile driver and, and broke, broke his and, 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 uh, yeah, and, and He stayed home for months. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's, he, he, Hulk Hogan yeah. takes lessons. Uh, in- <laughs> oh, no, like, this guy's a champion. Yeah. But he, he got given the chance to make his own show. It's in the movie, that's mm. why I like it. And this is back when everything was just cookie cutter the same shit. Yeah. And it was this, this comedy show, and he was doing this ventriloquist puppet thing, and all of a sudden it goes, zoop, 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 and it freezes, right? Mm. And he that he put that in there, was, that was meant to happen. Mm. So like, it, it's not freezing, it's just, it yeah. looks like it's freezing. And the producers that he was showing it to at the time mm. got out of their chair and were banging on the TV saying, this isn't working, this isn't working. And he goes, no, that, that's the show. And they look at him and they're like, what do you mean? And he goes, that's, that, that's the funny part. I'm going to trick all these people into thinking that their TV's broken. And they're like, that's not funny. And he's like, I find it funny. You just got out of your chair and you thought your TV was broken. And they're like, that's not, you're not doing it. And, he's just, and he, things like that, I would love to do that kind of stuff. Like, yeah. How amazing would it be just to be able to pull pranks on millions of people? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. How, could you do that anymore, do you think, though? No. People are too cynical. It, you would get in trouble The internet, it. no, the internet just ruined things. So you don't think if my t- if my TV started freezing, it would take me like it it would have to freeze for a extended period, like a really long time for me to think something was wrong. Otherwise, I just think it was the show being weird. You reckon the internet has ruined people? Like if I'm watching a, a WWE pay per view and mm. it freezes, I, just, I, I would, instantly rage. No, I would just assume that someone's going to come out and cut a promo or some weird shit. If I am the Time Lord. <laughs> No. I'm going to win the Royal Rumble by freezing time! So, Andy Coffin is my number one. Okay. Before we get into what we thought each other's top five were going to be, we're going to do the draw. the draw. Pop Culture $30 gift card, Darth Maul doesn't appreciate it. No. So Get out of here, Darth Maul. Oh no. <laughs> so, if you covered it on the Facebook page, facebook.com slash torrent this. If you haven't liked it, like it now so you can enter next week's draw. Alright, the winner of the $30 pop culture gift card is their favourite comedian is Michael. Uh oh. You didn't write it down? No, they're just both normal names. I don't know which one's the comedian. Shame. Ross Noble? Ross is Noble's that the comedian? comedian? He's an English comedian, yeah. Or Scottish or something. Irish. Oh, uh, whatever. Ah, uh, Australians, English, they really fall flat for me. Comedians? Yeah. Um, my wife got me onto this guy called Michael McIntyre. And a lot of his humour, you probably wouldn't get, but because obviously I'm married to an English person, mm. I've been there, I've like, I get more jokes now because of what, living with an English person. That's bad though. You shouldn't have to be local to get the jokes. I'm just playing to a local crowd. Like I like, there's one Australian comedian I like, that's Jim Jeffries. But, no, but that's only because you go out and you seek American stuff. He's Australian. 
No, 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 no. I'm saying like for America, because Amer Americans make constant American jokes, but because we're America's little brother, we know all about America. Where we don't really go out and try and seek an English shit. If you went out and seeked it like you do American stuff, I think I'd you would get the jokes. Where I seeked it? I don't know, or was it sorted? Sorted. Yeah, I, know, so I thought the same thing when I said yeah. it. But you know what I mean. If you went out and tried to. You obviously don't like English comedy, but no, if you, if it's you, not that I don't like. I don't like English comedian. And Mrs. Brown voice, shoot me in the fucking head. Yeah, I don't really. Please. I don't understand. Please, just right here. Anyway, so who? Kim went? Phillips. Kim Phillips with yes. Ross Noble. You just won a thirty dollars pop culture gift card. Congratulations! So if you want to win next week, the chance to win, like us on Facebook, facebookcom slash this and enter next week's draw. Let's continue. You ripped it. I broke it. You gotta eat it now. No. No? No. Alrighty. So, I thought Michael's top five were going to be two through five in no particular order. Eddie Murphy. Yeah, he was on there. Richard Pryor. Uh, nope. Dane Cook. <laughs> Back in the day, yes. But like, like pubic hair, our tastes grow and evolve. And I also thought you were gonna have Colbert. No. And number one, Jim Norton. Yeah, so well. I had a terrible week. I, I can understand why you put Jimmy on the list as well. Because I am a big Jim Norton fan. I thought your list was going to be Jerry Seinfeld, Robin Williams, Richard Pryor. I thought you'd have Louis C.K. because I thought you were a little bit more cultured than this. And then I thought your number one was going to be Eddie Murphy. I think Eddie Murphy was too obvious to be number one. Mm. Like, I mean, obviously he's going to make both of our lists. Yep. But I don't love him enough to be number one. Yeah, that's fair. I thought it was interesting that when you were talking about Robin Williams, you were, as your number three, you were giving reasons why he was better than Eddie Murphy, and then you're like, my number two, Eddie Murphy. It's like, what? You just argued against oh, yeah. it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I can't even think about that. Because <laughs> I was tossing up and turning just before we started filming yeah. two and three with Eddie Murphy. Yeah. And Maybe it was the wrong way around. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe I should Based on your argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you thumbs up this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We appreciate it. And like us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash torrent. There's all the links are available all around this video screen. Mm -hmm. Michael, any final words for these people? Yes. I hope you had a happy Super Bowl and didn't get pregnant. Hey, guys. Dando told me to make a video for people that want to see more. And I know what he means. You mean like... Like this. Is that what you want? You want to see some more? Here we go. It's coming off. What are you doing? What? Um, you told me to make a video for people that want more. More videos? Oh. What the fuck uh, are you doing? I, I thought you meant more of me. Just... <laughs> Alright, hold on. I, I've got it. Hi guys, just uh, more videos right here. Click this box here. There's another box there. You can click some more videos and make sure you like and subscribe. Like that, yeah? Yeah. Okay, will you delete the other stuff? Fuck no. <laughs>